to hypertension. Hypertension in ICD-9 codes are 401.0, 401.1, You should be able to convert those to I-10 and ICD-10. Elevated blood pressure without a diagnosis of hypertension should be coded to RO3.0 and I-10. There's an example. When a patient has hypertension and hypertensive heart disease, the provider must document if there is a causal relationship stated or implied. They must be clearly documented in the patient's chart. This is coded to 402 and whatever your points are behind. In ICD-9 and ICD-10 is broken down into two categories, I-11.0 and I-11.9. In ICD-10, when you code hypertension with heart failure, you must code the type of heart failure also, and it's coded I-50.1 through I-50.9. Be sure you pay attention to the note. If you have an injection fraction score, you can use it to code, but if not, you use the more general code I-50.1. Three codes for systolic, systolic, and combined heart failure also require a fifth digit. Zero on your last number would be unspecified heart failure. One would be acute, two is chronic, three is acute and chronic. There's an example, for instance. When a patient has hypertension and chronic kidney disease, and the hypertension was diagnosed first, you pay as follows. Um, I-12.0 hypertensive chronic kidney disease with stage five, Chronic kidney disease or ESRD. Uh, 12.9 is hypertensive CKD with CKD stage 1 through 4 or unspecified. N18 must be used with the above codes to identify the chronic kidney disease stage. And the N18 stages, N18.1 is stage 1, point 0.2 is to stage 2 or mild. 0.3 is 3 or moderate, 0.4 is severe, 0.5 is stage 5, 0.6 is in stage renal disease, and 0.9 is unspecified. There's an example. If a patient has all three conditions, hypertension, heart disease, and chronic kidney disease, when the provider needs to document, then the provider needs to document the relationship between the hypertension and the heart disease, but we can assume that the causal effect between hypertension and chronic kidney disease. These three conditions code to I-13. And I have listed out the I-13 codes that you can look at. Slide 14, uh, as with the two combo codes, these three codes require N18 to identify the chronic kidney disease, disease stage. I-50 to specify the type of heart failure. There's an example. And then hypertension with and smokers use the appropriate hypertension code or codes if the patient smokes. You also add F17, F17.20, F17.22, or F17.29. Each of these categories has a required six character. Zero is uncomplicated, one is in remission, three is with withdrawal, with withdrawals. Eight is with other specified nicotine induced disorders, and nine is an unspecified nicotine disorder. If you have not documented that the patient is dependent on nicotine or tobacco, you need to code Z72.0 for tobacco use. Secondary hypertension is coded to I15. Use only if hypertension is secondary, and I've listed out the codes to tell you what they are. The five secondary codes require that you code the underlying condition. I-10 permits the underlying or secondary hypertension to be either coded as primary or secondary, depending on the reason for the visit. 